kiss for you. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome to my another video on Android app development. And so, guys, this will be part nine of my video series on OpenCV using Android Studio. Alright, guys. So in this video, we are going to design an application which will detect the colors in our uh, uh, camera view. Okay. So basically, in this video, we will be working on HSV. Uh, model so basically HSV model represents the hue saturation and value okay so it is an alternative representation of RGB color model and with that we can uh, an object with the certain color can be de detected all right so now let's go back to our Android studio and first of all make sure that you have the user permission of camera so after that go to your activity dot main xml and in here just use the java camera view set the width to match parent as well as the height to match parent and also let's set the id to camera view all right so after that you need to go to your main activity dot java file and in here first of all let's initialize our sorry java camera view and make sure that you have this uh, statement and also now we can initialize our java camera view and let's set the id to camera view and after that let's say java camera view dot set camera index and put zero index zero means that we are dealing with the rear camera M one will represent the front camera okay so after that we can simply say okay so basically after that we need some uh, mat object so for that first of all we can say mat1 and mat2 similarly we need some scalar values okay so basically what we are going to do is we are going to use the low hsv and high hsv boundaries okay so we will be requiring that so for that first of all let's say we have a scalar let's say scalar uh, scalar low and scalar high all right and let, let's try to have this first of all the scalar low so to new scalar and inside that we need to pass the lower values okay so let's say we have let's say 45 20 and 10 and for high values scalar high goes to new scalar and we can simply pass 75 255 and 255 all right so now we have the scalar values here so now that what we are going to do okay so now we need to implement an interface here so we can say implement camera bridge view base dot cv camera view listener 2 and now it will say that you need to uh, implement the abstract method on camera frame so first of all let's do that on camera view stop on camera view started and on camera frame all right now inside our own create method we are now going to set the java camera view dot set cv camera view listener and we can simply say this and after that we are now going to use java camera view dot enable view okay so it will uh, it will basically enable the view and after that now let's go to our own camera view started so now here we can initialize the object so first of all we can say mat1 equals to new mat and here we can say width height 
and for the cv type we can say cv type dot cv slash 16 uc4 okay so we will be required for channel and after that we are going to use another mat and similarly it will be width height and cv type dot cv 16 uc4 all right now we need to go to our own camera frame method and inside the method we can simply need to use the image proc so for that image proc is a class of image processing in open cv so you need to use that so for that we can say image proc dot cvt color and inside that you can see that we have the source then the destination and we have code and after that we have dstcn okay so now we can say input frame dot rgba and then we will be using mat1 and after that we can say image proc dot color slash bgr2 hsv okay so after that we need to use the core method and we need to use in range and there you can see we have first of all the source mat on which we are going to work and after that we will be having the lower boundary and the upper boundary and after that we will have the destination mat object so for that first of all we can say mat1 it will be our source and then we will have scalar low then scalar high and after that we will have we will have the mat2 object here okay so here mat2 is the destination mat object on which we are going to work on i mean the it will be the output and mat1 will be the input all right so now we simply can say return mat2 all right so i guess that is now complete but uh, uh, yes so now we need to use uh, inside our own okay so let's try to import the own pause method and inside that we can simply say java camera view dot disable view and then on resume method and here we can also say java camera view dot enable view and inside our own destroy method so we can say java camera view dot disable view all right guys so now i guess it is complete so let me open the side sync app and also <laughs> let me try to connect my phone with side sync so now you are able to see the output all right guys now our application is working let me show you and let me open some images here so you can see that we are able to use and we are able to have this j
forward guys so you are able to see this J here then you can also see F J F and you are also able to see D okay so basically these are the blue green and red values all right guys so now if you like the video please like share and subscribe goodbye